Okay, so if a computer doesn't turn on, there's a part on the motherboard called a capacitor. And sometimes it can be very easy to see when the part is failing. We call it bad caps or bad capacitors. And so generally, what you need to do is inside the computer, take the solder, and you need to look around all, all of these types of components. And what you're looking for is any of them that are not flat and they're starting to dome up a little bit. So to give you an example, that one there is starting to fail. And all of the ones, the blue ones under there, they're all starting to bubble up. So I'll take a photo just so you can see them. So as you look at these, that way you have a, a good visual reference on what they look like and uh, it will help you to spot them. So, you know, if you've got a cheap, basic, bottom of the range computer and uh, it starts having intermittent problems or it's not turning on, one of the easiest ways to find the problem is just to take the side of the case off and just have a very close visual inspection on all of these types of components all over the motherboard. And if any of them are just doming up even a fraction, that will probably be the answer of your problem or it's a problem that will develop and get worse. Uh, the only way to fix it is to remove the components and replace them, but for me, um, generally I just tell the customer that it's time to get a new computer. Because once the motherboard fails in the computer, um, there won't be any spare parts available to replace it because they change sockets, uh, processes, everything changes every six to 12 months. And usually the socket will change every one to two years. So by the time it fails, there won't be any replacement parts for it. So that is a quick, easy way for you to look in your computer to spot a problem. Or if you've got a friend and their computer's having problems, all you've got to do is just take the side off and just have a close look at the components. And if you see them bubbling up, you know that's the reason. But if they're just starting to dome up a little bit, then that is also a problem. Um, and the problem also happens to video cards as well. I've seen certain brand name solid capacitors also start bubbling up as well.